After two, three days, and uh, I believe it was September, yes, it was September 23rd, 1942. And the transport was called four, number four, which meant Vienna, dash 11, Roman four, dash 11, which was the 11th transport from Vienna to Theresienstadt. We were marched to the railroad station and the population was not a, all of a sudden occurrence. It happened every week. We were lining the street, spitting at us and applauding and insulting us. That's how our fellow citizens, the Austrian, send us off to the concentration camp. Nobody asked him to do it. That was spontaneous. What do you um, remember about the train ride to oh, Theresienstadt? The train ride, it was a normal train, not cattle cars. So after all the trains were cattle, it was a normal train. And the association, I mean, I was, I was 13. I guess I was still something of a child in me. The train rides to the country, and that's the only time I used to take a train ride when we went for vacation, was a pleasurable experience, something we looked forward to. Of course, more so going there than coming home after the vacation. But the train ride was a... And I was sitting in this train, and the train left, and we were together, my mother, my sister, my Ingrid, my brother. We were facing each other, and the train left, and I dozed off. It was nighttime, we, well, it was dark when we boarded the train. And I woke up, it was morning, the sun was coming up, and it, we were, it was like speeding through countryside with fields and cows. I got all of a sudden such an elated feeling. Of, you know, as a ch like a child, a feeling. And that was the last time I had a feeling like that. It went away in the shortest of time. Because the minute we arrived at the concentration camp and our train was surrounded by Czechoslovakian gendarmes and SS men, whatever there was left of a child in me was gone forever. How long did that trip take? Uh, the trip took two days. We arrived there on the 25th of September. Did you have any food? Yes, we had some food which was given to us, some bread. And there was pails of water. And I do have to say that the, there was some place we could, I don't remember anymore, either there were pails or something, we could relieve ourselves. It was not as good as a train ride should be, but it was not as the cattle cars which were to come as a means of transportation for us. And at this time, we were unloaded a couple of cal uh, miles, kilometers, from the camp. And we had to march. It was so hot for one reason or the other. Uh, I was dehydrated, who, but who knew about dehydration then? It was a long walk, and there were prisoners working on the side of the road, and they were begging us for food. 